So, so what's the reason then for the sharp market decline? This isn't demand driven necessarily, is it? Yeah, it's it's a really a combination of like really difficult uh, uh, events. We first saw that automakers were late to place orders for semiconductors uh, for semiconductor chips the last year when demand picked up again uh, towards the end of the pandemic. Then we saw the winter storms in Texas, the fire at the big factory in in Japan. And now we sort of see the fallout after a couple of months and that has basically led to this rather dramatic uh, sales decline. Which manufacturers have managed to cope best with the supply bottlenecks so far and which are kind of set up for the, the you know, still for the next six months to be prepared for the future bottlenecks? Yes, so far we've seen that uh, Toyota, for example, or Hyundai have coped um, probably better than most of their direct peers. Um, among the Europeans, BMW has been holding up relatively well, especially when you compare uh, BMW to Mercedes, for example. Mercedes uh, suffered a 40 percent decline, which is like rather dramatic last month. But it's it's really difficult to forecast like how the uh, how the manufacturers are going to be able to offset these like difficulties in coming months before because basically what we've seen over the past uh, weeks and and months was that many of the forecasts of like when this, the situation might stabilize again have basically be basically been overtaken by events uh, because other like adverse uh, factors kept occurring.